Can you turn a normal car into a drift car cheaply? I got some McDonald's trays because they're free, depending on the way you look at it. And that's the best way to go drifting for cheap. And I thought of this properly and I've engineered a proper solution. And I've just gone out and bought the very best solution that you can, these drift sleeves, but they do cost a thousand pounds. Can we see them? Yeah. So basically they're nylon or plastic or something that doesn't have very much friction and they just fit over the normal tire and then you've got zero grip at the rear of your car and you can go drifting. Not only is mine cheaper, it's old school and it's simple. One under there, one under there, roll back, handbrake on. You've done this before, haven't you, William? I might have done this before, <laughs> which is why we got back up. <laughs> I have applied science. <laughs> it's slippery. Look at this, boys. This is nylon. Very, very low wear, very, very low friction, so very slidey. Skiddy skid. We needed to get the hang of each of our solutions. So for the first challenge, each of us would need to get the most angle around this corner without spinning. And we'll judge each one using the Insta360 footage. Unfortunately, Callum then discovered that his TT actually works. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Engineering, he said. Nylon, he said. <laughs> Do you think your four wheel drive is actually working? Oh no. Bollocks! I thought the four wheel drive was broken. It's a good thing but it's quite bad for your chances. Can I borrow the PT Cruiser? No. Now this video has been sponsored by Insta360 and this, the Insta360 X3. Now this is mega for filming on cars. Let me show you what we're gonna to do today when we're testing out these things. Is we can have this on an extending pole that then sits outside and we can then see a, essentially a chase cam like you do in video games. Now the X3 has a half inch sensor, which means we can shoot at 5.7K at 30 frames a second. We can stick it out the window, we can have it mounted on our head, we can have it stuck out the back of the car. And so it means we can see how good our drifting is from all angles. Now this thing means we can substitute traditional action cams, which you point and only get one single frame. And if you miss the shot, you miss the shot. Now with this thing in our editing software, we can pan around and choose the shot we want and reframe it endlessly. Now let's go play with it and see if we can get some cool shots. We're going to do some drifting. I'm going to stick this thing out the window. <laughs> now if you want to film some interesting perspectives and awesome shots of your car or someone else's for Instagram or for YouTube or something like that, make sure to check out the Insta360 X3 and make sure to use that link in the description below. Thanks to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. You can pick up an X3 camera like ours with the link in the description and get free gift. Either an invisible selfie stick or a sticky lens guard. Also, Insta360 is offering huge holiday discounts on cameras and accessories. Offers end December 27th. Right, let's go fit this to the PT. I kindly donated the PT Cruiser to Callum so we could get going with the first challenge. Look at these other two clowns. Jesus. They look good in that PT Cruiser together, I have to say. He's going to be really good at this. Yeah. Watch this. Or he's going to kill us all. Or he's going to kill us. Yeah. I'm ready to run. As expected, Scott nailed it. <laughs> oh, that is fair play. OK. Fair oh, play. That is good. That, that was awful. I was OK. Oh! 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 <laughs> he's definitely done that before. And Callum came in last. Oh, he's got oh, it! He's out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! It's quite difficult. Our second challenge would be a test of drifting precision. We need to get as close as possible to a watermelon without smashing it to bits. However, Scott wanted to spice it up a bit. To raise the stakes a little bit more, we'll put the thing that we care about the most on the outside of the track. What is that? So I did ask my wife to come and stand on the edge of the track and like I could drift her. And you know, of course she's aware of my skill as a driver, but she still for some reason didn't want to do that. So what we've got is a rod here with a watermelon on the end and a picture of my missus. Is the idea, like in drift competition, that you're gonna <laughs> kiss her gently <laughs> on the way by with your jag, rather than just completely sending her to the moon? Well, no, that shot would be amazing with her and then me just smashing her. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, obliterate my wife. Right, darling, no matter what happens, remember I love you. This could only go badly. Oh, he's so controlled. Oh, he's so controlled. <laughs> oh! No! I killed her! Oh, no! <laughs> it was only a little kiss, but that was enough. Say you! Sorry, Scott. I've got some bad news. <laughs> There's been an accident. Oh. That's quite nice. <laughs>
Yeah. Hang on, what have you got for him? Yeah, what is my prized possession? What is the thing that Will loves most in the world? His girlfriend. No, you're be stupid. <laughs> this 705.4 horsepower BMW M5. Well, I'm not putting that there. Yeah. No. Get another watermelon and take your wife back. Okay. Oh, darling. I really didn't want to destroy my car, so I had a plan. Right. That's my bloody M5 out there. A bit more speed, Will. Come on. Oh, there's no angle. Oh, oh, is that a light? Oh! You missed. You can't just flick it round at the end. You've got to drift into yeah. it. That wasn't in the rules. They're what? the drift rules. They're the National Drift Association rules. Whatever that is. Make that up. <laughs> I took the criticism of my first run personally, so I decided to send it for my second go. Oh, oh. A bit oh, more. oh, oh, oh! <laughs> 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 Did I hit it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've damaged the PT! Oh, that was so close! William! The plastic dip! Oh, that's right through the paint. But yeah, I think you're, you're winning. Am I? Well, at least oh. your first one, you didn't hit it. True. Because Callum's a, a normal human being like myself, uh, we've got a picture of his partner as well. He said to me, I'm going to seek forgiveness rather than to ask for permission. I decided to ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Oh no. So th that to me is a very brave move, or stupid. And um, I actually asked my wife. She said no. <laughs> she said no, so I did it anyway. <laughs> then it was my turn, and my first attempt didn't go so well. Right, here we go. Sorry, Emma. Oh, 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 no, he's oh. not, oh, no, no! Oh. Oops! Oh, no! I got it wrong early on, I couldn't figure it yeah, out. Yeah, you, you peaked too early. Yeah. That's funny enough, because that's what your wife says. <laughs> oh, f sake. Jesus my second go wasn't great, so I knew I'd have to make it up on my final go. It's in this episode where everyone realises that Callum can't drive. <laughs> Look at the expression on Emma's face. She looks so happy. What she doesn't know is that a PT Cruiser is coming semi sideways no. towards her. I was about to make an awful joke then. Go on. Uh, what I was just going to say is <laughs> PT Cruiser's going <laughs> to. Oh, that's better, that's better, that's better, that's better, that's better. Go on. No. Oh! Yo! Tag! Wow, that was pretty good. I think that was good. Just a kiss. It was, in terms of distance, it was good. But in terms of drifting, it was technically bad. you probably win. We cleared the watermelon remains from the track so Callum could give us the next challenge. But before that, we have some important news. Some pesky lawyers have told us we can't use the Driven Media name anymore. Because of that, we will be changing our name to Overdrive. Don't worry, the only thing that changes about the channel is the name, so expect that to happen very soon. Now, let's get back to some drifting. You know when you see drift events, they drift in tandem, Mm. Nice and close. I figured we could see who is best at drifting side by side. Are you sure that's a wise decision based on the drifting that we have just seen? We could, we could have a crash. Okay, well, let's do it. But we don't care about the <laughs> Are we go leaving get... Emma on the outside of the track? Huh? Are we leaving Emma on the outside? Oh, I'll go, of the track? I'll go get her. <laughs> he, just, he doesn't care, he won. Forgot the wife. <laughs> First up in our tandem drifting challenge would be Will and Scott. Then it's my turn. Oh, Will's not left enough space. We've not left enough space. <laughs> they just followed each other round. It's fair to say Scott and I won't be starting a drift team anytime soon. And I was running low on trays. Oh, they died. Oh! <laughs> they were alongside a bit. Oh, oh my God. I don't want to play anymore. I thought I was having a crash. Now that Will had burned through all 12 of his McDonald's trays, it was finally my turn with my genius nylon drifting plates. Scott and I decided to give it a go on a different corner. Is there going to be a crash? I don't like the way this looks at all. Yeah! Go on! <laughs> we actually did it! <laughs> Come on! Oh, I'm going to crash! Did that look epic? It felt epic. <laughs> it, it was great. It was also like a tandem, but in slow motion. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm, I'm sideways already! Come on, come on, come on. And drift. Drift, 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 drift. Oh, come on! <laughs>
That was good. <laughs> oh, I know what drifting's about now. That was really good fun. <laughs> We're bored now. Was that as close as it felt? We nearly had a big crash then. <laughs> Did you, you went over there. I know, you scared me off the track. Okay, I think that was a success. Right, let's see the results. The first test was an easy win for Scott, second place for me and last for Callum. The second challenge, I actually managed to win. Will came in second and Scott came last. And in the final challenge, I was awful, so I came last. Callum came in second, and Scott was consistently good at not crashing into us, so he finished first. Overall, that leaves me in last place, Callum in second, and then Scott as the winner with his ridiculously expensive drift tyres. They're all advanced versions of each other. Yours is a better version of mine, and Scott's is a much better version of yours. Mine will last and last yeah. and last. Yeah. They're still going. If you want to see the last time Scott got this Jag that sideways, we went on a road trip to Knock Hill around the track. So make sure to check that out down here and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. If you want to pick up one of these, check the link in the description below. They are great for filming cars.